when cocky fighters get owned. Many fighters only know how to trash talk their opponents, but when it's time to fight, they're a big disappointment. That's why it's so satisfying when they get knocked down a peg or two within the ring. In this video, we're going to take a look at 10 moments when cocky fighters get owned and destroyed. So let's start. Number 10. Raulio Rodriguez vs. Ryan Garcia Even at the weigh-in where Rodriguez subbed his opponent, it was clear that he thought he was far better than his opponent, Garcia. After Garcia fired up a few punches, Rodriguez's cockiness went to overdrive as he believed he had an easy victory on his hands. After the two burst away from the lock, Garcia managed to land a vicious hook that dropped Rodriguez on his backside. After a minute or so, Rodriguez continued fighting and began showing off by trying to dodge punches. He later danced in the octagon and even stuck his tongue out tauntingly. Of course, it was all front, and Garcia managed to knock his cocky opponent almost clean out the ring. Number 9. Badri Hari vs. Peter Graham Cocky kick fighter Badri Hari showed nothing but disrespect to Peter Graham running up to the fight. At the press conference, he even refused to shake hands and went on to insult Graham by calling him an amateur. Later that day, after the press conference, Hari could have resisted trying to intimidate Graham, also planting a kiss on the Australian opponent, which resulted in a slam to the ground. In the ring, the cocky Badri Hari got another taste of sweet karma when Graham made quick work of him with a spinning wheel kick to the face, sending him out of the arena in an ambulance. After this, I'm sure he would not dare to disrespect or intimidate his opponents. Number 8. Deontay Wilder vs. Bermain Stiverne Bermain Stiverne had a lot to say during his press conference before his fight with Deontay Wilder. Promising to break his ribs and jaw before the fight was over, he warned his opponent to send him home packing and force him to retire. Of course, with such tough words, it wasn't Stiverne's best interest to at least beat the man he was talking so much trash about. On fight night, however, Wilder got his revenge by controlling the match with his calm attitude before firing a jab that knocked Stiverne onto his back in the first round. Stiverne still tried to keep the fight going, but after shakily stepping up to Wilder, he was again smacked back into the corner. One final time, he tries to fight, but at this point, he just becomes Wilder's punching bag before being knocked out. Number 7. Jason R. Solomon vs. Amitesh Chabi There's nothing more embarrassing than clowning your opponent and then getting your behind handed back to you in a devastating and humiliating fashion. When Jason Solomon entered the ring to fight Chabi, he came in with a bad attitude. He walked to the cage to jumpy music in an entourage of tough-looking guys. Solomon danced his way to the cage with complete confidence, pointing to people in the crowd, strutting his stuff, and giving each of his guys a hug before entering the cage. Once inside, he pranced around like a fool, obviously enjoying the crowd's favor, but little did he know what was about to happen. The TV broadcasters tipped it off and mentioned his opponent, Chabi, as a big puncher. The key for Solomon was to stay away from Chabi's knockout power, but he either didn't do his homework or he just didn't believe he could get knocked out. As the sound of the first bell rang, Chabi and Solomon met at the center of the cage. As Solomon lunged in to throw a combination, Chabi clipped him with a solid overhand, which dumped Solomon to the canvas. A series of hammer fists sealed the deal, and that's all that was needed to complete one of the most hilarious finishes to a fight in recent memory. Number 6. Bobby Green vs. Dustin Poirier If you're going to hold- Number 5. Frank Sanchez vs. Julian Fernandez Here's another cocky fighter exposing all his body to the opponent and getting what he deserved. Backed against the ropes, Fernandez just continued taunting his opponent, Frank Sanchez, as though he's the one dishing out the blows. I know it's one thing to taunt, but when you're dominating a fight, it's a whole other story when your opponent is beating the hell out of you. And that's exactly what this cocky fighter asked for. When we say that the fighter in red, Sanchez, delivered the package like it was one-day shipping and free returns, we mean it. The skillful Sanchez mostly battered Fernandez before he knocked his opponent out of the ring just after the midway mark of the seventh round with a brutal right jab. Fernandez fell between the second and third ropes onto the ring apron, 
The referee started to count, but he quickly realized Fernandez was in no condition to continue. He was dazed and confused, and I'm pretty sure he was rethinking his life right now. Number 4. Javier Rodriguez vs. Quincy Westby This is Westby, another arrogant fighter who believes he has the upper hand over his opponent, Rodriguez. However, that wasn't the case. During the fifth round, he finds himself at the end of a vicious left hook that completely dismantled him and sends him straight to the ground. He was so perplexed that even his legs got crossed and mixed up as to where to go. His stunned body lay there, probably wondering, where did that come from? It's hard to tell here, but if you really look closely, you can see the soul leave his body just ever so gracefully on his descent. Number 3. Charles Lottaparissa vs. Sultan al Nuami. Charles Lottaparissa certainly knew how to make an entrance when he pulled out some MC Hammer moves to impress the Dubai crowd at the Caesars Palace prior to his fight with Sultan al Nuami. Sadly for Charles, it was his loss that made for the real hammer time as he was smashed down under the canvas and through the ropes by the Sultan. He was floored twice and knocked out within the first round. The dancing fighter tried to beat the count but couldn't get to his feet in time. Number 2. Nate Campbell vs. Robbie Peden If you thought all over Robbie Peden during the fight and had thoroughly taken over in the fifth round after hurting his opponent with a body shot. After such a brutal attack, Peden was in survival mode and everyone thought Campbell had this fight in the bag. However, it wasn't the case. Campbell opted to showboat, hands down with no expectation that Robbie would have anything left in the tank. He was wrong, and Peden uncorked a perfect left hook that sent the cocky Campbell crashing to the canvas. Fight over. Campbell went from a win to a loss in the most amazingly absurd fashion. Number 1. Adonis Stevenson vs. Thomas Williams Cocky fighters do many annoying things, and one of them is dancing in the ring. In this fight, Thomas Williams was able to deliver some punches to Stevenson just before the bell. He got cocky and started dancing in the ring. He should have saved that energy as he's soon going to need it to stand from the floor when he gets knocked out. In the fourth round, Stevenson had dominated the fight and started delivering several punches and a final left hook that sent Williams to the floor. He made a failed attempt to stand, but he couldn't beat the time. This was all for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video when the cocky fighters get owned by the legit ones. For more interesting and fighting videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that notification button. Goodbye.